if i were to ask you to associate one word with valentine's day what would it be some of you may say love some of you may say respect trust dependence faith among other words this means that in any close bond you know love you know or respect or trust are the common elements which means that valentine's day may not just be restricted to romantic relationship you know it could mean sharing a bond of love with anybody be it a friend be it a spouse be it a child be it uh, any family member you know and in today's video in keeping with the spirit of valentine's day which is around the corner we shall be looking at five tips on how to say i love you or how to write a letter of love to someone you love Hello everyone. Welcome back to the English web. I am Bageshri. I've been away from YouTube for a rather long time and if you are wondering as to where I was or what I have been up to from the last few months then please let me know uh, and I can do a video talking about all of that. In today's video we shall be looking at the five tips on how to say I love you to someone you love. Like I said earlier, let's not restrict love to just your romantic interest. It could be your love for anyone. Okay so let's try and understand how you can make your message or letter to someone you love all the more special before we start with the video please do not forget to subscribe to the english web appreciate the presence of the person you love in your life you know you can say something like i may not say this every day but i am so grateful to have you around or to have your presence in my life and i cherish all the moments and the memories i share with you so you have to try and start your message or your letter with something that really makes the person feel special when or when you're writing to a person you love you always cherish the value they add to your life so if you're writing to um, let's say your father you know you can tell him that how he motivates you to wake up every single day and work hard towards fulfilling your goals and that you do not know what you'd do in life without him or tell him that he gives you directions and that he means the world to you and that you're forever indebted to him for his support if it's a friend tell him or her that you know the the fact that they have supported you through ups and downs have made you who you are and have brought you to the uh, stage where you are at so do not forget to emphasize you know what exactly that person adds uh, to your life if you are writing uh, this letter to say your boyfriend or your girlfriend you know you can enumerate all the occasions that have you know reinstated or reinforced your love for them and try and select one particular memory that stands out you know so if you want to talk about how uh, he or she has seen you through all your exams and has you know kind of gotten you out of any troubles you know while kind of attending classes or while being a student at the university talk about that you want to ensure that this message or this letter is as personalized and special as it can be and it cannot be without adding an anecdote or a memory or a moment in the fourth point you want to express or you want to give a glimpse into what the future looks like you know you cannot talk or write to your special person you know without telling them what the future awaits you can tell him or her that you know how you cannot uh, wait to go on trekking adventures or travel across the globe with him or her or bond over movies or anything that the two of you like to do so reinstate that and tell him or her what you look forward to in the future now is the time you take a moment to wish your special person your loved one a very happy valentine's day so you can start by saying something like on the occasion of valentine's day i just want to remind you how special you are and how you make my life so special i cannot do life without you and i always want your love support and faith in me so thank you for being such a special part of my life i love you 
So you can add something like that and end your letter or your message on a sweet note. I shall quickly summarize all the five tips that I shared in this video. Number one, appreciate the presence of the person you love. You know, tell them how their presence means the world to you and you wake up feeling blessed for having them in your life. Number two, you can talk about what kind of value that person adds to your life. Number three, share an anecdote or a memory with that person you hold very close to your heart. Share any incident, but you want to ensure that this message or letter becomes as personalized as possible. So take a moment to share a memory. Number four, you have to express or talk about the future with that person. So, you know, kind of give a glimpse into the future, whatever, you, whatever plans you have for the future with that person. Lastly, share your Valentine's Day wish. Whatever it is that you want to share with that person, include that and tell them, you know, that their presence is sacrosanct and you love them beyond words, okay? So these are the five steps and, you know, try and ensure that you use the name of the person you're writing to or if it's uh, someone older than you, like a parent, you know, use the word mom or dad. And at every moment, you want to ensure that the person feels the love that you are sending, okay? So try and read it from that perspective and I am sure that your letter will be all the more special. So uh, this brings us to the end of the video. I shall be back with another video. If you have any suggestions uh, for what you want to see in the upcoming videos then please drop your comments in the comment section below and like always please do not forget to subscribe to the English web. Your support means a lot and we're already at 13,000 subscribers and I can only look forward to what is in store for the English web family. So uh, thank you for all the love and I shall see you guys in the next video.